Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. We've got our ProLine Pro MT on the bench today. This is uh, the ProLine Pro MT 4x4 110 scale monster truck. Uh, uses super beefy A scale components. Uh, we're just wrapping this up so we can go bashing. <laughs> So pardon the mess. That's uh, this is our workshop in its in its real estate in its dirtiest state, <laughs> but uh, we're we're in a bit of a rush here. So um, what we're gonna do is kind of clean up the wiring. You can see these bare metal connectors. Never good to have bare metal connectors. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure that we have the polarity, or rather not polarity, but uh, a a brushless motor a brushless dc motor um especially used for rc doesn't have polarity you know your, your brush motors have a plus and a minus and if you switch them they're um the motor's going to go in reverse so uh we're just going to plug in our, our small test lipo here and we're just going to make sure that the wires are heading in the right direction um or rather the motor's heading in the right direction uh, or we need to swap the wires, and this is all before we put on our color-coded shrink wrap, all right? Just so that we have the the colors matching. Uh, I should turn on the receiver there first. Okay, it is going forward. And reverse is working properly. Good to go. All right, so let me go ahead and turn that off. Actually, just want to make sure here. Got it stacked up on some books here. You know, of course, we love to do our reading around here, and books make an, an excellent makeshift RC stand, too. So it is indeed going forward. The, the wheels are turning in the right direction. We're good to go. So let's clean this up. Really looking forward to uh, to bashing with, uh, with Razor RC today so we're getting this wrapped up in our in our final moments all right so I'm just gonna unplug the battery um, right now we're running Dean's connectors too we're kind of debating on whether to, to switch over to EC5s um, or uh, XT90s if you guys have any thoughts on that uh, I'm going to just cut the shrink wrap accordingly here. It's going to shrink a little bit under the heat, so you want to cut it a little bit longer than the, what, the, the surface you're trying to cover. I did not do the best solders on these, but I, am, I need to have some learning to do in that area. So uh, let's do this. I'm going to grab our... Ungar heat gun. I've had this for, I don't know, 30 plus years. And I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in. I should have really done this before I started shooting, but that's what we happens around here when we shoot something pretty much live. So, let's get this plugged in. And you could use, um, you know, you could use a, a match or a lighter as well. Just want to apply some heat to this to shrink it. I'm going to go around. I don't need to do it in a hotter setting here. And notice that it's shrinking a little bit. I just want to, because it's going to shrink in all directions. So just want to make sure that um, the end of that connector is adequately covered. Oh, I can actually even connect it here and shrink it so that I get the best possible fit there. Actually, I think I'm gonna take it off and do it so that the, the shrink wrap is, or the wire is straight. This provides some strain relief too, which is nice. Sometimes as an engineer, I tend to overthink things, but better to overthink than underthink, right? I 
sure I hit the heat there from all angles. There we go. We got the orange done there. Ooh, it's still hot. I'll go ahead and do the yellow. Always good to do these one at a time so you don't get them mixed up. I got a bucket full of shrink wrap over here. Odds and ends. Uh, here we go. Yellow. It's definitely a snugger fit on this one. So I won't have to shrink as much. has cooled off so we can go ahead and plug that in. Plug in the yellow and the blue. I thought that was hot there for a second. Ooh, I bet that. Oh actually this was not a very good solder at all. It's a I should really resolder this. Um I'm going to re-solder this before I put shrink wrap on it. So, let us know what you guys think in the comments. I'm going to run over, plug in my soldering iron real quick to re-solder this connection. Uh, but let, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you next time.